Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, we are doing a gameplay on the new Ruby Ha Sing Jin, I think is how you say his name. I'm pretty sure he is the first Korean basketball player to ever play in the NBA. So, we are going to be doing a gameplay with him. He did get a Ruby card. So, let's just get right into his stats and badges, guys. But if you are new here, we are on the road to 600 subscribers by the end of the year. I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post two to three my team videos every single day and give some of the best no me spend content, tips, and tricks on the platform. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. So, guys, this Ruby card is a 7 foot 3 center. He's 305 pounds, so he's heavy as two. He's not just skinny. He's got a 70 mid range, 63 ball. Of course, he's good in the post. He's got an 80 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk. Ball handle and passing doesn't really matter. 86 block is, I mean, he's seven foot three and 90 interior defense, so he's not gonna get bullied around. 90 offensive rebound, nine defensive rebound. And 62 speed, guys, honestly, isn't the worst for someone who's seven foot three and 305 pounds 62 acceleration and then strength's really good at 95 and stamina's is really good at 92 and the big question guys is is he gonna be able to shoot with that 63 ball and the reason i will say yes guys is as i come over here to the badges if you come to upgradable badges we're gonna scroll down do you know what badges he can get he can get limitless spot up he can get sniper he can get the snipers in here somewhere he can get sniper like i appreciate sure he can get like most badges in the game but he can get sniper as well sniper he can get dead eye he can get limitless spot up so i think with the 63 ball unless it's absolutely a terrible release i think he may be able to shoot we're gonna have to see though his badges i mean they're pretty good i mean he's got brick wall he's got drop stepper he's got brim protector chase on ours box interceptor is really good intimidated rebound chaser pogo stick back down punisher mouse in the house hustler he's got silver posterizer and silver tiles defender but yeah, guys, let's go to freestyle and let's see if we can shoot with him. I really want to see if we can shoot with him. So yeah, let's go to freestyle. In freestyle now, it is the big time. Did you have any hot zones? Okay, I, know. I wasn't expecting that. Let me see. Is his release like absolutely terrible? I want to see this. Let me see. Okay, hold on, guys. The release isn't terrible. Let me see if it's greenable. Let me see if it's even greenable with a 60. See, it's a 63 ball. But here's the thing, guys. If you give him, a, if you have Steph Curry, right, and you give him a plus 5 three ball, now he's 65. Then you give him plus four three. That's almost a 73 ball. And I just green the shot. And and then you give him gold limitless spot up. You give him you give him dead eye, maybe. You give him you give him sniper for sure. Will this card be able to shoot? At least from corners. That's the big question. Is will he be able to shoot from corners? I mean, I'm greening, so I don't know if this is just because it's freestyle difficulty. We'll have to pull a couple threes in game. Um again, I don't have any of the badges put on him. But I'm sure if you do put the badges on him, this card might not be a terrible budget center. Because for because again, he's seven foot three, so he's an inside. So he may low key be able to shoot. Sorry, he may be able to like you know shoot a mid range. He's got seventy mid range. So if we test out his mid range ability, it should be pretty money as well, right? Yeah. So if you catch the ball like here off a pick and roll, or you catch the ball here wide open, that should be very money, right? And then again, I think he can knock down these three pointers. But again, with limitless spot up, he still isn't gonna be spot up from like back here. But if you give him limitless spot up, he may be able to shoot from the 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 line. He may be able to shoot from the line. So I might test that out in another video or just do another thing with him and just tell you guys. Because I really want to see. If you give him limitless spot up and all the shooting badges he would need. And you give him a plus 5 coach boost and you give him a plus 4 3. Could this card actually be able to shoot? Now he's 7 foot 3 so that would be very crucial. But then would it be how much better is he than Porzingis? Because Porzingis is also 7 foot 3 and can also shoot. So we'll have to see about that. But yeah guys this guy's obviously going to be really good in the post. You know. He's seven foot three. He's just gonna bully people. That's what we're gonna do in game. So without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. I also do want to point out, guys, this is on my second account because of the fact that I just want to make the gameplay a little bit easier and more fun to watch. If I play in my main account when we're in the showdown tier and I have like 47 wins and eight losses and I really need to win the game, if I go in with a ruby card and I do match up against a guy who has a god squad or really good. I'm not going to have a very fun time. So I think just for the gameplay purposes, I think it'll just be a lot more fun to watch if we're on our second account, which we're only 2-0 and in the gold tier. So yeah, this is the team, guys, we are going to be using is this team. So we got LeBron, we got Rose, we got RJ Barrett, we got Glenn Robinson, and of course we got Han. As I say, it's like Ha Sing Jin. I think that's how you say his name. So we got him. And yeah, guys, let's get on to the gameplay. Okay, guys, into the gameplay. He does have a really, really good team. So we're going to see how this one goes. Probably not going to go the best, but again... To try to cook and be down low, it's not going to go very well. So, it's all looking good for us, boys. But we're going to try our best with this Han Sing Jin card. He should win tip-off, though. He's 7'3". 
we do end up winning tip. Again, we're going to be running a lot of pick and rolls, trying to score with him as much as possible, but it's going to be tough. You see LeBron running. Oh, yeah, the big man running in transition. See the big man down low. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. See, now, guys, that's where he's effective, just because he's able to mash like that, and he's seven foot three, so he's going to be able to post up those smaller defenders, even like LaMarcus Aldridge isn't going to be able to hold this card. Now, defense is where he's going to struggle, but, hey, that's great defense. Perfect defense there. It's not bad. We have to show him a little bit of rows. Yep. Going to jump. Yep. Good pass. Easy layup. Good pass by Derrick Rose. Got, got him beat the jump easy take by um i'm gonna call him sing jin good take by him lebron inside to him we're gonna look to work in the post easy all the way oh my god man i don't know guys he might be able to bully people inside like he might be really good inside big i'm not gonna lie his defense is honestly really nice he feels really like he can move on defense i don't know why but like he's moving right now like he's able to stay in front of people he can get back there i mean that's great defense i mean that's i mean he got a 40 percent red uh, contest i don't know how he made that but that was great defense. Again, guys, you probably know already by now what we're trying to do. We're trying to record a gameplay. So it's going to be kind of hard to score. We're going to slip it inside there. Good pass all the way. Okay. Yeah, you need a timeout, bro. He got eight points on you already, man. He's actually cooking, guys. We're going to send him on a slip, though. Great slip by him. Good pass by LeBron James to give him 14 points and two rebounds. That's actually a great start. I'm actually, I'm actually loving this card, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I am actually loving this card. That's great defense. We're there, we're there. That's just a tough shot. That's a tough shot. That was a pretty good contest. He's absolutely exhausted. Pass inside. All the way. Easy dunk to give him 16 points. He's got literally all our points right now. He is going off. Call screen again. Yep, we're rolling. We're rolling inside. We're rolling on this all the way. Come on. 20 points already in the first half with 26 seconds left. Also has three rebounds. Come on. Like, we're going to see him on the roll here. Like, he's faster than beat right now. He's literally faster than beat. And look how tired he is. And one. Like, look at that, guys. He is literally unstoppable in the paint he is literally unstoppable in the paint and we still have to figure out what's going on with that shooting he greens the free throw maybe good block by him like look at him he's a defensive monster right now he is a defensive monster oh yeah good pass inside all the way what a slip by him this guy like you can't even hold him bro you got 27 points scored on you by a goddamn ruby card and you have a god squad and you're sweating your balls off and he is destroying you in the paint oh my god good steal wow we ripped him out of a shack's hand we're gonna go in the post now. We're gonna call screen. We're gonna call screen. Let's get a pick and roll. Let's send him on a little slip. Good slip. He's gonna reach. Yep, all the way. Easy dunk by um John. What the hell is his name? Hong Sin Jin. Good take all the way. Good slip. Great slip by him. All the no way. That's a great slip and a good take all the way. Oh my god, guys, this card is generally insane. Like I am very surprised by how good this card is playing. Okay, guys, so that was the gameplay with Hong Sin Jin. He played amazing, to be honest, guys. He had like 33 points in the fourth quarter. Like, like you know, he had, he had 33 points in the whole game. I really do want to see if he's able to shoot a three ball or a mid range consistently. But guys, for an inside center, he's able to mash like crazy and play amazing defense in the paint on the other end. But on offense, guys, I think he'll be really, really good. He's a really good masher. If you face someone who's only six foot ten, six foot eleven, you're gonna be able to mash them, and you're gonna be able to lock him down on defense i really really do like this hung sin jin card i think he's one of the best budget bigs in the game so yeah guys that was the gameplay i hope you guys did enjoy let me know if you guys like the gameplay down below in the description or in the comment section i appreciate you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace